Same as a chemical elements with symbol HE. And atomic number 2. It is colorless, tasteless, non-toxic, inert, monatomic gas. Helium gas is used to inflate blimps, scientific balloons, and party balloons. And is covered by pair Jules Cesar Chadson. We'll use the chart on the right to find the configuration for helium, which has two electrons. So we'll start by going down the first row, which has 1s as the orbital there. So we have the 1s, and we know that s orbitals can hold up to two electrons. So we'll go ahead and put a 2 as the superscript to show that there are two electrons in this 1s2 orbital. Now we've used all the electrons we have for helium, so we're actually done with this electron configuration. The next double gas is neon. Neon has a symbol of Ne and atomic number of 10. It is discovered by William Ramsey and Maurice Travers. This gas is used in vacuum tubes, high voltage indicators, lightning arresters, wave tubes, television tubes, and helium neon lasers. The color of the light depends on the gas in To find the electron configuration for neon, we first look at the periodic table to determine the atomic number. That's the number above the element symbol. The atomic number is equal to the number of protons for the atom. However, it's also equal to the number of electrons. And once we have the number of electrons, we can use that to write the electron configuration for neon. Aside from those two, we have argon. Its chemical symbol is AR and its atomic number is 18. In fact, argon is the third most abundant gas in the Earth's atmosphere. Argon is important for the metal industry, being used as an inert gas shield in arc welding and cutting. Also, argon is used in the electrical light bulb, fluorescent tube, and photo tubes. To write the electron configuration for argon, we first need to figure out how many electrons there are in the argon atom. We can do that by looking at the periodic table and finding the atomic number for argon. That's the number above the element symbol. It tells us the number of protons, but it also tells us the number of electrons. And once we have the number of electrons, we can begin to write the electron configuration for argon. The fourth novel gas in the periodic table and was discovered by Sir William Ramsey and Maurice William Travis. Its symbol is KR and its atomic number is 36. Krypton is commercially used as filling gas for energy-saving fluorescent lights. So Krypton gas is also combined with other gases to make luminous signs that glow with a greenish-yellow light. Now, I'm going to introduce Xenon. Xe is its symbol and 54 is its atomic number. Once again, it's William Ramsey and Maurice William Travers who discovered this element. Xenon is used in photographic flashes, in high-pressure arc lamps for motion picture projection, and in high-pressure arc lamps to produce ultraviolet light. The 86th element and the 6th noble gas is radon. Year 1900, Frederick Ernst Dorn discovered it. Radon was used in some hospitals to treat cancer. We have Oganesan. It is named after the scientist Yuri Oganesan and it has a chemical symbol OG. According to the periodic trends, Oganesan should be a noble gas. However, due to its relativistic effects, Oganesan is predicted to be a solid at a room temperature. The atomic number of Oganesan is 118, having 176 neutrons. And since only a few atoms of Afghanistan have ever been produced, it currently has no uses outside of basic scientific researches. So that's it for this video. We hope you learned and understood the seven noble gases in our periodic table.